Disgruntled Ekurulen ANC members are in court challenging the legitimacy of uh, the May elective conference. Mzwandi Masina was elected chairperson out of that conference with the outcome of the seating only being declared this weekend. Muslim Africa's Pilani Pahadi has more from Germiston. The ANC in Ikurulene held its Congress in May, that was the elective conference rather, and of course it had to be concluded just this weekend. Uh, there were a lot of discrepancies and of course even talks about uh, the, the, the 19 votes that needed to be in. So the African National Congress in, and its NEC has made, it, made a decision that the PEC should take uh, uh, its own decision as far as what should happen to them and the PEC has resulted to ensure that whatever leaders or win, whoever who was elected at that conference should remain as is. So the status quo remaining there. Let us bring in the deputy chairperson of the region, that is uh, John Gizizu Klamat, just to give us any details. Uh, so how has the weekend fared? I mean, you concluded your conference. I'm sure the, the first thing was to go into your commissions that you failed to do the previous time. Sure. No, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, you would know that uh, the conference of the ANC will never be complete uh, without us having went into commission which is the most important part uh, of the conference, which is to engage, assess our performance, introspect on the current material condition, and begin to formulate uh, what should be our mandate uh, for the term. Yeah, but let me take you now to that unity part that you're talking about. There's a disgruntled group. They've written a notice uh, to the African National Congress, and in, in it they are saying that that particular uh, conference should be declared null and void. Response? Well, there will always be those that are grieved uh, with organizational processes. Uh, where we are, we think that we have done everything uh, above board. Uh, and obviously, it is uh, sitting uh, with us. We have noted the motion and the intent. The ANC uh, will guide us uh, on how we respond uh, on that. As far as we are sitting, we have successfully concluded the conference. There is a leadership that has been elected. In fact, the REC itself have even made a commitment uh, to the provincial chair and the provincial secretary who came to close the conference to say that we are prepared to reach out uh, to the comrades as part of making sure that we continue to listen to them, but they should reach a point where they accept uh, organizational decision and the fact that the conference has been concluded. Conference concluded. Perhaps maybe as we round up, what does this now do to the unity that you are trying to portray to the community at large, especially now that you have to go back to so-called work the ground towards 2024? Will this perhaps hamper those particular ambitions that you are, you, you are a, a, a unified movement, at least towards the particular national elections? Look, uh, 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 grievances, we view them uh, as a, a momentum uh, issue. Uh, they are not going to stay with us for the longest of time. Uh, we will spend some time to consolidate on the issue of unity. Uh, I know some of the comrades, you know, on the other side are beginning to actually come uh, and say that uh, we think that we accept that the conference has been concluded uh, and we want to be part uh, of, of the organization and uh, do its uh, organizational work. Of course, there will be those that uh, will still feel aggrieved, as I said to you, will reach out to them, but that does not stop the work of the organization uh, from continuing. Mr. of course, is the deputy chairperson of the African National Congress here in Ikurulena. But, of course, there is that group of disgruntled members who continue to threaten to go to court and, of course, even serious litigation uh, uh, to try and nullify the outcomes of that very same conference that uh, John Gizizwa here is talking that they should be rallied behind. For Zoom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Belana Pahadi in Jemiston in Ikurulena.